Okay, so today we've got the Radeon HD 5670 from XFX. The biggest difference between this and the next one up, the 5750, is that it has fewer stream processors, ROPs, and texture units. It also has a slightly lower memory clock in terms of in relation to the other card, and I can't find my knife. Where is my knife? Thank you. Um, and it also... <clears throat> has a faster clock speed. So basically what this card is, is it's supposed to, it's, it positioned, it's positioned only about 10 to, 10 to $20 cheaper than the 5750, depending on how much memory. This one in particular is a 512 uh, meg card, whereas most of the 5750s out there are one gig. So that's gonna make a difference to the price right off the bat. And then there's also the fact that it's, um, did I mention it was clocked a little bit higher? So it's a value card that's not meant to pump out the same kind of detail levels as these higher end DirectX 11 cards, but it does bring most of the same features to the table. So it has support for iFinity, it has support for DirectX 11 under Windows 7. So you've got that feature set. It has 7.1 audio out over HDMI, but not the raw gaming speed. So it's more for people who just want to use their card casually for gaming once in a while. So let's see what we've got inside here. First, we have a quick install guide. Step one, prepare your computer. Step two, remove your existing graphics card. Okay, thank you. And then we have a <laughs> a long installation guide. Okay, thank you XFX for providing that for your valued customers. Okay, then you have an ATI graphics card CD sleeve. Don't use this. Download the latest drivers off ATI.com. Then we have this I love. It comes with all XFX cards as far as I can tell. Oh, they've updated it too. It doesn't have the dog on it anymore. Now it has like a gun. Do not disturb, I'm gaming door hanger card and this is convenient because it also has a place on the back that shows you how to contact their support and tells you where to write your username and password for your login when you register your card and it also has I mean this is cool look at this it has I shouldn't I shouldn't show you this but the serial number for the card as well as the personal activation code to register your warranty I mean that is great because most of the time they just have it on the back of the card you got to rip open your case in order to even find it this is empty look at that there's nothing under this side. It was all over here. How about that? Okay. Well, that's a little... Oh, wow. This is kind of funny, actually. So, we got this big box. do 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 Small card. Okay, so in here we will find the 5670. And there's kind of... Is there, like, something else in here? I feel like I'm... I feel like I'm missing it. I guess with a value card like this, I mean, they've got like, they've still got all the expensive, like nice packaging and everything, but not much in terms of accessories with a card like this. I guess that's to be expected. So let's pull it out. You've got your standard matte black XFX PCB. It seems like an insignificant detail, but I love it. I personally love the matte black PCB. It looks really nice when it's all installed in your computer. It doesn't show dust as much. I realize that these are aesthetic quibbles and most people won't care, but it does matter to me. You've got a PCI Express 16X connector along the bottom. Please note the absence of Crossfire connectors. That does not mean that it doesn't support Crossfire. It supports Crossfire just fine, but this isn't a super high bandwidth card. You don't need it to communicate directly with the card. It communi can communicate just fine over the PCI Express bus, so they don't worry about that too, too much. On the back, we've got support for DVI, HDMI, and DisplayPort. Something you should be aware of is that if you want to use all three, you've got to use all three. You can't actually use a DisplayPort to DVI adapter. You can use an HDMI to DVI adapter, and a DVI monitor and a DisplayPort monitor, but unless you're using an active, and that means it costs like a hundred bucks plus, DisplayPort to DVI adapter, it will not work. Okay, so along to the other side, you've got a pretty, eh, pretty wussy looking heatsink, but I mean, this is not a very high powered card. It doesn't output a lot of heat. You don't have to worry too much about it. You've got a little heatsink here that cools the memory chips, which are located just down there. I don't think you're gonna be able to see that. You've got your power connector and you have your power delivery. You'll notice the absence. I mean, it's hard to actually unbox something like this because normally I'll be pointing out all the stuff, but I'm pointing out instead what is not here. You'll notice the absence of a PCI Express six pin connector. So you do not need to plug this in separately to your power supply. That is again because it is a very power efficient card. It doesn't require a whole lot from your power supply. And I think that pretty much covers everything I wanted to say about this card. Thank you for checking out my unboxing of the 5670 512 meg from XFX.